Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Jeannie, and this is my channel. Today, we are going to turn plain white linen into tie-dyed linen using only watercolors and water. If you would like to see how I did this, stay tuned. We are going to need a bowl of water, or just water to get your fabric wet in general. Another bowl to squish your fabric into and to begin to paint. Watercolors. I have linen. Theoretically, it should also work on cotton. I am trying to recreate a pattern similar to this, but we'll see what happens. This is an experiment. I found some other videos of people doing watercolors on their embroidery cloths but they didn't want it to be like patchy tie-dye we're gonna get our fabric wet like those tutorials taught me to and then wringing it out set that off to the side And then from other cross stitch dyeing tutorials that I've seen that do produce a similar effect. I don't have the writ. I don't feel like going out to buy the writ. They kind of just scrunch like you would tie dye. So I'm going to do that to produce a random pattern. And then. We will break out the watercolors. I have a color chart here and it does not match up very well like rows of five versus rows of so rows of 12. We're going for Payne's Gray. which I have determined to be this one right here. Let's add some water through this paintbrush. I got this palette of watercolors from um, Amazon. I don't remember how much it cost. I do know that I uh, had a gift card, so that helped bring the price down considerably. I bought it when my kid was doing virtual school and virtual art. I'm just going to hit some high points and add some more water to spread it out a little bit. Really dark. So, I'm going to keep going at this all willy-nilly until I reach the end of what I can see here, and I will come back when I unfurl it. Alright, I think I've got a fair amount to start with. 
The plan now is to open it up and see what it looks like. So not bad, not a bad beginning. And now like this big blue spot can probably be thinned out a little bit. So we're just going to add water and kind of spread it around. This dark spot too is a little extra for me. So let's just blend it. We need more water again. Righty tiny lefty Lucy apparently doesn't pertain to this. Off camera while I was trying to refill it the first time. Gave me issues. Maybe I don't know my right from my left. That is an option too. So you think, screw it back on, you turn it this way and it works. Yep, nope. Just right and left are not strong points here. And then we get some more. It's a little naked here, so we're gonna do a drop method. A little naked there. Alright. And then we'll go back to adding water and doing the spready spread. I'm pretty happy with it though. It definitely turned out the way I was hoping it was going to. So now we'll let it dry and see if we're happy. Here is my finished product. The overall effect is what I wanted it to be. It's a little bluer than the inspiration pick, but it will work just fine for the project. If you'd like to see the finished project, follow me over at the Great Stone Genie on Instagram. I'm sure I will post pictures of it there. Hopefully this helps answer somebody else's question on can I tie-dye with watercolors on linen. Hope y'all had fun. Thanks.